A very warm welcome to the learning home. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about Quick Access Toolbar in Microsoft Word. And uh, before I start the discussion, I'd like to bring to your notice that I'm using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. So let's begin with what is Quick Access Toolbar. Uh, it is an uh, important feature in Microsoft Word to access certain features easily. It helps us to reduce the number of mouse clicks. It is used to bring the most commonly used Word features on the front so that we can use it without searching in the tab and ribbons. So where we can find it, this tool, it is located on the extreme left hand side and you can see a small logo here which is appear like a triangular shape but little, little detached between the base and the, this part now let's explore how to customize the quick access toolbar here you will see that there are three options i'm going to remove it first when you click it you will find out certain option here and you can I'm, these checked items are available, so I'm going to remove it first to show you. And you will see there is nothing is there in the Quick Access Toolbar. So in order to add that, these are the some of the options which you can add it very quickly, like automatically save, like email, or let's say read aloud or something like undo and redo so you can add this very easily if you want to remove it what you can do you can go there on certain like i want to remove uh, redo and i will go there right click and remove from quick access toolbar you will see it is removed from here if you want to add it again just go there and add it like this Imagine you'd like to add something more like a, a text highlighter. So what you can do, you can go to that icon. I will see it is highlighted and right click and add to the quick access toolbar and you will see it has appeared over here. Similarly, if you want to remove it, you can remove from there as well, like what I have done now. You have seen the multiple ways to add uh, some of the uh, features. In, in addition to what we have discussed, there is another option called more commands. So here, when you click the uh, more command, you will see a box appeared over here and you will see that these are the option which is already here. If you want to add something more like uh, editor, let's say, or if you want to add font size, increase font size you can add and when you click ok you will see these all have came over here similarly if you want to remove it you can just click there and remove it there is another option called separator here which you can separate a certain uh, tools from the certain tools so imagine I like to separate read aloud an email so I'm going to bring the separator here you will see it is I have brought in here and then when you click OK you will see there is a separator has come over here there is another option called reset if you like to reset to the default mode what you can do you can click it and it will ask for reset all customization or reset only quick access toolbar so I'm going to do reset only quick access toolbar and you will see a message kind of warning and click OK, yes and click ok you will see we have gone to the reset mode and went to the default mode there is another option called import and export suppose you have set it uh, very nicely and you don't want to let it go what you can do and you are switching computer then probably the best way is to export the custom toolbar and then import it in the another system which you are going to work in the future so I'm going to show you how to export it first export and I'm going to export now I'm going to save this uh, file on the desktop 
which I have done now and click OK. Now I'm going to delete everything so that I can show you and now I'm going to import it. More commands, desktop, this here. Click OK. Here you will see it has not came. So what you can do, you can close it and then reopen it. So you will see it has arrived over here. So there is important point to note uh, before, after importing it, you have to close the window and then reopen it. And now the last point of discussion that how to show the quick access toolbar below and above the ribbon. At the moment, what you might be seeing is located above the ribbon, which is you are seeing it here. Imagine if you want to put it below the ribbon. So there is an option called show below the ribbon and you will see it is here. So similarly, you can change it based on your preference. There is another option which is uh, uh, to bring the same feature by clicking Options and click Access Toolbar and it will come to the same window. And uh, with this, we have came to an end of uh, today's discussion. How you have found the video, please do write in the comment section. And if you have liked it, please do like and share. For more videos, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos. With this, I will say goodbye and see you soon.